Hello, welcome to Easy Eatery. My name is Angela, and today we are going to make a black forest cake in the air fryer. Yep, you can actually make a nice little bundt cake in the air fryer, and it turns out so great. Let me show you how to do it. Now you know me, we're going to do this the easiest way possible by using a box cake mix, some um, heavy cream, some chocolate chips, some cherry pie filling, some oil, some eggs, some maraschinos to decorate with, and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and follow the directions on the back of the box and just go ahead and put that in our bowl and pop in our oil. We're just going to use like a half a cup of oil and we're going to use one cup and a quarter of uh, the water and also three eggs. So today is my daughter's 29th birthday and I would have to say I was a little bit shocked when she said that she wanted a black forest cake. I didn't even know that she knew what that was because I've never made one before. So I thought, I would, hey, you know what, uh, this is a recipe I'm pretty sure I can do in my air fryer. So I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So just going to go ahead and um, stir that all up and you want it to be all combined until it looks just like this. And we're going to take our cherries and just go ahead and empty the whole whole can of the cherry pie filling right into it. I don't know what it is, but I just love the smell of cake batter. All right, let's get our bunt pan ready. Now you don't have to use a bunt pan. I just wanted to because I think it looks kind of pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it down with some oil. And if you're going to use like a eight inch pan or nine inch, whatever fits in your air fryer, just go ahead and spray it first, shake out the excess and get it kind of leveled out. And we're just going to go ahead and plop that right into our air fryer at 320 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, not going to lie, mine did take an additional five minutes to get to this point. And here it is. It came out looking so super pretty. Now this is going to be the underside, so it doesn't matter how it looks on the top. But we did the toothpick check and it is ready to go. I let it sit there for five minutes before trying to flip it over. And um, after it flipped over successfully, I let it sit there on my countertop for about an hour. Time to make the ganache. It's been sitting there for a while. So I just warmed up some heavy cream, three quarters cup of heavy cream in my microwave and three quarters cup of uh, chocolate chips. And we're gonna go ahead and give that a stir until it looks just like this. Now we're going to take our ganache and we're just going to literally just kind of, I, I try to be fancy with it and do some little zigzags and stuff, but you know what? I just went a little bit crazy and went, you just went for it. Okay, so now that it looks like a great big huge donut, I figure I should probably dress it up a little bit. So I have some little whipped um, frosting here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it in a Ziploc baggie because I have no idea where my, uh, my uh, cake things are so my piping bags I don't know where they are so just gonna go ahead and snip the corner and just kind of put a couple little swirls on there and then add the um, maraschino cherries right on the very top to make it look just a little more pretty and you guys this is it it is all done it looks absolutely delicious I would cut into it for you but I did promise to take this over to my daughter for her birthday and um, I'm really excited how this turned out. Now I did make up the second batch and um, I, of course I did get into that one which I didn't show you because I didn't decorate it all nice and pretty like this one. So anyway, um, but, but it it's, it's super moist and it's absolutely delicious. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.